Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to attach these motifs that I have crocheted. I do have the tutorial. I will pin it. So this is going to be part two. And uh, the colors that I have worked on are these. And this is the last one that I have uh, crocheted. I did use... Uh, a three weight on that one it was this yarn that i bought from hobby.com hobium.com from turkey and it was a three weight so i used the bigger crochet hook so you can use i know it does look smaller compare to this to this as well i just noticed that but oh well when you look at it it's the same measurements because i'm going to do the last row i'm going to join and i will show you how to do that and then i will show either you can um join separately or you can uh i just got the hang of it and i continue to crochet or you can join as you continue crocheting either way would work i do have other tutorials on how to join but I think this uh, method on this uh, would be appropriate. So I'm going to show you. So uh, on the tutorial, focus, uh, I did um, two double crochet, two chain. So I'm going to start joining on this uh, two, uh, two chain. Excuse me. Achoo, <laughs> Sorry about that. I <laughs> couldn't pause. Okay, so I am going to join where the um, two chain is right there. Okay, so uh, randomly I picked pink. I'm going to use all the colors that I have in my house. I haven't decided what to make with this. Either I can make it uh, uh, throw over a blanket or I don't know, even a cardigan would be nice with these beautiful colors. Let me know what you think and uh, yeah. So uh, I'm going to join with a, uh, with a slip stitch. Let's do it that way. Or you can do a single crochet. Either way would work. Okay, and then I'm going to come here and I'm going to continue. Yeah, maybe do a... Let's do it. Let's grab it from here. Make a slip stitch. Yeah, let's do it that way. So as you saw, I grabbed it from here, from the front, okay? Just need to uh, work on it. I'm making this up as I go. So I'm going to come here, and I'm going to continue making my uh, two single crochet. But before... Uh, Split. Before taking the two, I'm going to come here and then find, is this the wrong side? Oh, that's the wrong side. Okay, so let's, here we go. So on the right side, right side, I'm going to find that double crochet and then right here, I'm going to come and then pull at once. See, it creates this line. That's what I'm trying to make. I'm going to make that line. I know it's a little bit uh, weird, or I don't know what you call the word. So I'm coming from the front, from the front of the motif, and I'm coming to that double crochet, the sec second double crochet. So it has to be, the numbers have to be equal. Yeah, that's the thing. So I'm coming from the front, just like this, like this. And then grab those two V's. Don't grab the one because it will get longer and we don't want that. And then pull at once. Okay. See, we're creating this uh, nice line. That's what we want. And when you put it, it will look like this. Okay. And then I'm going to continue. Let's do it one more time. Okay, 
So go to the next double crochet, pull two, and then come to this one right there from the front, and, uh, and then pull it once, okay? Continue on. Pull two, grab that from the front, and then pull. See? Nice. And this is how it looks like. Yeah. Pull two, and then grab. You don't have, you, you can, uh, you don't have to do it this way. If you know another method to join the motifs, you are welcome to do that. But I just wanted to share you this technique that I'm making it up. I don't know if it's out there. So pull two, and I will show you how to join just like this. Two. So what I'm doing is I'm coming from the front and I'm grabbing that V right there. Okay right there this v and then i'm pulling don't skip any just to be cautious and i'm hoping i have the same equal numbers okay just like this like i said i haven't decided i that i might turn this into a card again or a blanket. and then grab it from here from the front and then pull it's a little bit awkward this is pulling the second if I do it the other way I don't like that method I don't I like this nice right here I like it and this is how it looks like from the wrong side If the numbers are same on both, I, I, ho I hope it is, because that's how I kept on counting. It should uh, be okay. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, if you have a four weight and if you have a three weight, like I said, you can use a bigger crochet hook and then use that yarn in between like this is a this is thicker this was most of the thickest yarn in, in my uh, stash that i had but don't go out and buy the yarn just use the yarn in your stash and it doesn't have to be cotton like i said it can be acrylic The only reason I don't like acrylic, I was going to do a tutorial on this one. I just did a sample and I never had the chance. I made this with acrylic yarn that I have. See what happens? It's not the same as cotton. And uh, well, this is 50% cotton. 
this one's 100 and um, even the 50 percent is softer than 100 percent like this one is 50 percent as well the green one uh, but even that give the gives a nice shape of the motif when you're crocheting acrylic is not like that unfortunately i'm not saying that acrylic is bad but uh yeah it's just a shaping that throws me off okay so i think we're done Okay, just grab it, just pull. Perfect! The numbers are, yeah, I think I'm one short. Can you see? Did I skip any? I'm just checking not to skip any in between. <laughs> I'm just recounting, looking. Uh, I haven't shish. skipped anything, but it's, uh, one is extra for some reason. I don't. So what I'll do is, I'll just come right here, and then pretend. Yeah, this is too big. So I'm gonna grab my smaller crochet hook, and then go in between here. The smaller crochet hook, you can do that, and then pull, pull this, and then grab this last one. Yeah, you can do that why not okay so we have finished one side just to show you this is how it looks like so i'm going to add yeah this is pretty small oh well yeah i won't use that yarn just to be on the safe side so i'm thinking i'm gonna use I'm going to crochet. See, uh, normally uh, I do this wrong, um, what you call it, this last row. But this here, we started the double crochet, half double crochet, right? So here is uh, the point where we uh, start. I can change this uh, pattern and start it from here. Either way, you know, starting a new row, I can do that as well. Just need to play around with it. But uh, here, what I need to do is I need to do that half double crochet. And then here we're done, right? Okay, but I need to join. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to grab this one here. And I'm going to chain two. Just continue because I am still working on this row. Okay, so I am grabbing this part right here from the front. From the front and then I'm gonna do a slip stitch I think I did two and I did I do another two can't remember oh, let's do one chain I don't remember I don't think I did another chain yeah, I forgot to chain two. Anyways, that's okay. Sometimes we make these mistakes, but that's okay. Don't frog it. Don't rip it and start all over. So instead of chaining two, I'm going to chain one. And then join from the front. And then do a slip stitch. And chain one. Okay, and I'm going to continue making my double crochet here two double crochet so i'm gonna grab i'm gonna find that double crochet on the first maybe that's what i did a mistake that's what happened maybe i don't know we'll see so i'm grabbing that two v two v's that we see you can see those v's right it's right here Grab it from there and pull. Pull it once. And 
and again go to the second one grab it from the front to two and then when i mean two i mean these v's two two strands and then continue on oh i see here we have to make one Or you can work it like this. I think it's easy to work it this way. To crochet it. So pull two. And then grab it from the front. And hold it like this. I think it's way easy. So we still have a couple of more left. To finish it up. Pull two. Oh, isn't that odd? This is the same side as the, yeah, when we start to and start a new row. <laughs> I didn't plan it. I just randomly picked that side. So we're doing the last one. Two. A little bit tough here so when you when that happens when it's too tight what you can do is change your crochet hook go down to go into that that spot right there right here it's a little bit tight I believe I need to grab it from here Yeah. Here we go. Pull two. And then look from the front and then continue. Okay, so we done we done the half double crochet. Well I did well I actually I didn't do half double crochet. I did double crochet. But that's okay because because of joining so here what we're going to do is we're going to do single crochet pull at once so to do that we're going to go in here and then grab it from the front which is a little bit tough And then pull see just like this so the next one and then grab it from here and then pull pull these two see this is how it looks like Uh -oh. and 
then again pull grab it from the front and then pull see Let me see if I can. Yeah, no, it's not working. I tried other ways. It's not working. So grab it from here and then come here and then pull. Just like this. Grab it from this one. And then the other motif, hold it like that, and then grab the yarn and then pull. Oops, oh, I'll lose that one. Oh, it's split. <laughs> Here we go. Then we have, yeah, the yarn is below. And then pull again. I hope I have equal numbers and I think we do. Yeah. It's for some reason I will end up with one extra. I don't know why that's happening, but what can you do? Okay, so come to the last one and we're done. Okay, but I'm going to continue attaching as I go. Yeah. So when you look at it, this is nice. Okay, to let's say I'm going to continue crocheting and what you can do is you can add one here just like this add this to this Or cut your yarn and then start from here. Either way would work. So I'm going to chain two and then join here. Well, no, actually, we were supposed to chaining one. Okay, so we're going to join from here and as, as I showed, but we're going to do single crochet. Okay, so come here, chain one, then join here, come here, and then join. No, I did it wrong. See, I don't like this attachment. I don't like this. I want to create this line. So change. So come here, grab it. 
and then and then have the yarn underneath to create the this uh, V of lines. Okay, and this. Okay, come here and then pull. So this is how you join. While you're crocheting, you do the double crochet, or you can do a half double crochet, but uh, I think the double crochet is more appropriate when you're joining, uh, when you're making the last uh, last row, just like this. this hasn't been blocked. So when you block it, it's gonna be way better. Block it by steam block, or you can do wet block, either way would work. So have the yarn underneath. So it's way better. Just like this. So I'm going to let you continue. This is all to it. And then you continue joining. You can cut your yarn or you can do whichever you like. But uh, this is how I think would be uh, nice to do the joining. It gives you this nice line and nothing different. Let's turn around and see the back. And this is how it looks like from the back. So I hope you like this tutorial on how to join. You can join any motifs that you have. It doesn't have to be this motif. It can be any, any other motifs that you have. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that little notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified indicating uh, there's something new for you to watch. Happy crocheting, everybody. I'll just continue crocheting, and uh, I will just stop it when I hit 30 minutes. I think I have two more. And, uh, yeah, so hold this on the bottom again. Don't skip any stitches. <laughs> Oh, it's split. Okay. 